I've been farming since I left school in 1968. The farm is 224 acres plus 30 acres rented. Uh, we keep cattle and sheep, uh, sucker cows, about 70 cows and about 150 euros. Okay. No, they don't feel, they might feel a bit of a sting for a while, but then they, they don't feel anything after that. And the tail falls off eventually. Born in 1953, and we lived out in the old house until about 66. And um, my father decided to build a new house because the old one was very cold and wet and damp. And, uh, that was about 150 years old, uh, at least. My father was born in 1908, and he died in 1989. So he farmed out here all his life, and his father before him was farming here as well. Well, when he was young, when he, when he, he, had, he worked with horses, but I didn't. By the time I, by the time, by the time I started farming with tractors, you know, the horses were gone at that stage. It would begin to, it was more modern, you know. And he put me up on the tractor when I was about nine or ten, so I had to drive it. And he was sitting beside me and showed me how to drive. And that was the first thing I ever drove, was that little Gray Ferguson. I learned to drive on it. And then... He bought his first tractor in 1952, so it's one of the first around this area to buy a tractor, actually, so he was um, modern in his thinking. So I didn't really like school that much, so farming was a bit of a release, really. It's like getting out of prisoner war camp. No, my father, well, he needed help on the farm anyway, so he was kept pushing on a bit. He was an oldish man anyway, so he was glad of the help. And he had nobody else helping him at the time, so. I enjoy most of it really, driving the tractor and working with the stove. I enjoy most. What do you want to do? I suppose just working in the rain. And it's cold and wet and miserable. The, the farm is run as a, as a business. Uh, myself and my brother. We, have, we, we own separate parts of it, if you know what I mean. That's the way it was, it was given to us. We run it as one farm. We, we own half of each, we'd say. So, sell our own bit of road. Yeah, I'm, I hope to retire to south of France in a few years' time. So, most practical thing to do because I've no son to take over, so sell it and retire somewhere. I suppose uh, I'd be a bit, yeah, I would, but I can't bring it with me, so, you know, that's life. You have to g give away things when you get older, so that'd be the end of it.